this shouldn't take this long. It's going to take a couple minutes for the program to set up and start uh, crunching data. So while you're doing that, you want to join my team. Okay, and then you can go here. And you can see the stats for the team for each day. You can also go down here. See the stats for each individual teammate. You might get this problem where it's taking a while for it to get the first project. Uh, sometimes it's just a few minutes, sometimes it's maybe 10 minutes. Uh, just wait and see if you if you get anything after. If you don't, after about five or 10 minutes, you can just go into advanced view. Let's open this up. Actually, you can see it's already got this is the first piece of data it's got. It just hasn't started yet. If you're ever having a problem and uh, you've sent completed data but you, you're not getting a new new data package, uh, you can go over here. Just make sure you're, you're uh, highlighted that. I just click update and it'll, it'll usually get you a new packet. Uh, I'm going to show you some other things you can do. Uh, uh, right here, you can go to uh, to um, options. No, no, wait a minute. That's not that's not the right one. I'm gonna go to preferences. And you can change this around a little bit. Um, you can increase the processor usage to, you know, like you can move it to 75 or whatever you want. Uh, some people have told me that they've done that and haven't noticed any difference. Other people have told me that they can see an increase in the, in the amount of data or the speed of which they're crunching data.
can increase the disk space. You don't have to do all this. Like I said, if you get multiple computers, you can uh, sign in with the same username and you can get credit for each computer. I think that's about it on this. You can see you can always find it here. That's the symbol. You can see right there I've got three pieces of data. I don't know why it's suspended. Well, it should start in a little bit. Okay, uh, I'll show you some things on the site. You can go to uh, there's t statistics and see the overall site statistics for each day. Uh, you can go to research. This will show you so for it to load. It'll show you you know every month or so they'll come out with updates on completed research or stuff they're working on. We've also got the forums. The forums are huge. Uh, I mean you could spend all day going through the forums and reading about different projects and the science that's behind the program. Um, it's also a great place to uh, communicate with people and ask questions. And there you can see it's, it's crunching now. Go to the advanced view. You can see it's already started. Took about the whole process took about 12 minutes to finally get the data moving. It's not a really hard setup though. 